It is our second day here in Lombardy region and today we're in Minerva del Garda which is a town on the west side of Lake Garda and we're off on a about a two hour hike hopefully we'll have some time to go swimming in the lake as well and looking forward to checking out some nice viewpoints and seeing another side of beautiful Lake Garda. So I've just learned about the climate here in the south end of Lake Garda. So it turns out that Lake Garda uh, absorbs the heat in the summer and keeps it inside of the lake so it's not too hot during the summer. And then in winter, the heat, it like lets the heat out of the lake um, and so sort of balances out the weather. So it doesn't get too cold in winter, it doesn't get too hot in the summer. And this means that it has a nice Mediterranean-like climate and a lot of stuff can grow here, kind of like vineyards and olive trees and lemon trees, things that you wouldn't expect to grow this far north in Italy. We have reached the viewpoint here at the top of somewhere. <laughs> Very detailed video. <laughs> and you can see the views here behind me, they are just spectacular. We reached the viewpoint at the top of the natural park in the natural reserve here by the west end of Lake Garda. There's a gorgeous beach down there. Um, there's actually two private islands, one you can walk onto. There's a bit of a spit and the water is so shallow that you can even walk from the mainland onto the first island and then there's a second private island with a very beautiful and very large villa which is over a hundred years old but it is private so sadly you cannot go there but oh my god would I like to live there Dan are you okay yeah is it a little bit hot it's just it's like a little bit like 36 degrees hot I'm just totally bathing in Sexy man. Stop <laughs> filming. <laughs> oh, now I want to drive. <laughs> The colour of the water here on the west side of Lake Garda is just killing me. So we're currently hiking down to try and get closer to the lake, so hopefully we can go swimming. Um, I just, that time can't come soon enough. It is really hot today. It's about 36 degrees Celsius. Um, so if you are coming to this area, I'd actually recommend you come maybe in May or September. And they say the hiking is actually best in winter. Uh, so maybe even October, November, the days are clearer, the air is crisper. And it's definitely not as hot as this. Oh, the sweat is dripping off me. This is disgusting. Region of Lake Garda, and the guys are having a good We were starving after our trek, so a cooking class in nearby Sirmione came at the perfect time. The class took place on a family run winery, which we got a quick tour of, getting to see all the different places where they made the wine, and of course, getting to taste some of the wines that they made here in the winery followed by lots of fun making pasta and Italian desserts from scratch. We have the fresh pasta and also some aperitif and appetizer before. So uh, maybe the quantity could be reduced in our case. We, maybe not, we don't use all the dough. That's this is my beautiful dough. Look at it, <laughs> look at it. It's fresh out of the fridge. Okay, now we divide it into parts. So. One for the tagliatelle and one for the ravioli. 
and the grana padano. The grana padano is production not so far from here. We put the dough. You want to? We spent the evening in gorgeous Sirmion, checking out the historic castle and ruins, and eating an ice cream the size of our heads. Far the biggest ice cream Eat I've quick. ever had. <laughs> Hold it up to Wake your up. face! Hold it up to your face! Quicker! Oh 31 degrees! Quicker! And there you have it. From hiking boots to sunset shoots, the southern end of Lake Garda really has it all. <laughs>